our food to our traditions and the way we talk, there's a special sense of pride that comes with being a Pittsburgher. And a new book called Growing Up Yinzer shares how Western PA left its mark on over 50 notable figures from our city. I'm joined now by the book's author, Dick Roberts. So good to see you here. Hey, yeah, absolutely. And we go back so long. Uh, you know. Well, this is a little different for me. I'm usually, you usually see me on the other side of the that's camera. That's right, that's right. But it's so nice to have you here in this capacity. Congrats on your book. Yeah, thank you. It was a, it was a lot of fun. So tell me what inspired you to write this? Well, you know, it's really an extension of the Yinzer cards that we started five years ago. Myself, Jim Cren, Larry Richard, and Which Rob we Rogers. Love. We love yeah. so much. So uh, there wouldn't be growing up Yinzer if there wasn't Yinzer cards. But just one day I was thinking about how Pittsburghers grew up here yeah. uh, and how it, how it made them the people that they are. That's so true. And, um, uh, and, and these folks, 51 Pittsburghers that are in this book, profiled in this book, um, had a chance to have an extended period of time to talk about the, the town that they loved. Well, I see a quote on the back of it from Bill Cower. So tell us about yeah. some of the notable people that you were able to interview and, and what you learned from them. Yeah, well, Bill Cower was great. Um, you, you know, after saying hello, I didn't say anything for like 25 minutes. <laughs> well, I have to, I, I've talked to him before and I didn't even know what to call him. I, I think I called him Coach or Mr. Cower. I was so, I didn't yeah. know what to call him. Yeah, yeah, I called him Coach. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, but it was like 25 minutes of him telling me about growing up here and then like a five minute pep talk. Yeah. Like he was back in the locker room <laughs> at, at, at Heinz Field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's wonderful. Just, uh, but but so, so many great stories in this book, really. And, and I think uh, there's, there's many household names, mm -hmm. but, but people are going to read this book and learn something new about these folks, and, and in, in many cases, something unexpected. Who else did you interview for it? Oh, so many folks in here. Uh, Mark Cuban, uh, you know, Patrice King Brown. Oh, how lovely. Yeah, uh, Rick Seaback. Donnie Iris. You got to have Donnie of if you're going to have a, a Pittsburgh book. Did you find a theme among all of them? Yeah. Was there a continued theme? No doubt. Um, there are common themes through the book. Steel, hard work, family, mm -hmm. neighborhoods, taking care of one another. Isn't that so true? I feel like hard work is at the core of, you know, we're a blue collar steel town and I think that 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 idea of working hard to achieve your dreams, to, to work for your family, is something that has been passed on through the generations, even though we're not necessarily a steel town anymore. Right, but you know, the quintessential story is Tom Murphy's, the former mayor. Yeah. Uh, grew up in a steel family, uh, born in, in Greenfield, moved to Baldwin. Um, his whole world revolved around steel yeah. because of his father. Right. Uh, from um, you know, picnics that the steel companies would hold. He, he tells a story in the book about they only had one car. So if he had a date, but his father worked till midnight, the date was over at 1130. That's right, because so his dad he, had to go to work. He, he, he had to pick his dad up at work. But what's great about his story is he talks about sitting outside Jones and Lachlan Steel and the sights, the sounds, the smells, the and then 4,000 men would come walking out of the gates. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's a great mental picture. Well, you know, we know how important Pittsburgh is to all of us, and uh, that's also true of Katie O'Malley, so we asked her to stick around because we're going to play a okay. game. Hey, come back in, Katie. Hey, Katie. All right, we're going to ask her to stand, unless you want to share Hi. a seat with me. No, it's okay, um, I can stand in the middle. So we're going to play a little game. You've come up with some questions for us, and this is based off of Mad Gab? Yep. Okay. So we're going to see if we can pick up the uh, Pittsburgh phrases based on what you're going to share with us. Oh, wait, I, can, I don't want to look at it. Oh. Okay. So now, do we have to say it out loud? Will you say it out loud for us, Dick? <laughs> well, if I say it out loud, it'll give it away. Well, you think? Give it a P. Hart, Keen, Chair. Oh, parking chair. Parking chair, that's right. Yes! A yes. classic, a classic Pittsburgh. <laughs> okay. A classic Pittsburgh thing. <laughs> All right, I understand so what's happening now. Okay. Duquesne and Clyde. Duquesne, Duquesne and Clyde! Duquesne yeah, Clyde. that one was pretty easy. You guys are good at this. Okay. <laughs> All right. Can he would saw pin? Can, 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 can he Kenny Wood? Can he would saw pin? Sign. Saw pin? Saw pin? 
Close. Kenny Woods are open. Kenny, Kenny Woods <laughs> open. Very good, Katie. I cussed this. You got this. <laughs> You're good. I, I just I don't have a zipper on these pants, but I you just went and got, checked for it. You guys have got this Pittsburgh thing. Yeah. yeah. Do people at home still know what that means? Does Elante know what Kenny Woods open means? Okay, yeah, you do I, know? Okay, okay good. Okay. Uh, uh, high ear wiggle stay, stay healers. Steelers. Steelers uh, at the here end. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Steelers. Here we go. Stillers. Here we go. Stillers. Stillers. Oh, yeah. Stillers. Got it. As Jimmy Crenn might say. Boat day, tote <laughs> pay, hatch <laughs> free ice. Boat day. Boat day, tote <laughs> boat day, tote pay. pay, boat. I don't. <laughs> boat day, tote pay, hatch free ice. Boat, boat day, tote pay, hatch free ice. I don't know if we can do this one. Boat day, tote pay, hatch free ice. Both day. day hatch. This is a tougher one. Both day. I don't. Pay. Both day. What did you come up with, Alante? Potato patch fries. Potato patch. <laughs> See, it had but, the connection to Kenny. I, I don't even know if I did both. it again that I would get that. Oh, both day. That's a tough one. See, both day to pay. Yeah. <laughs> don't even try, Katie. Right. Don't even try. It's not working for us. Is that the last one? That's your little last snort one. makes me I'm laugh so, so much. I love your little <laughs> snort. Oh my All right, gosh. that's embarrassing, but this was very funny. Yeah. It's very fun. It and fun that right? was the last one, right? You're that not going to. No one. more yeah. embarrassment I've got for my us. Own that's Rock wonderful. Cards. Uh, it's so great that you wrote this book, too, and I can't wait to d dive into it. Yeah. Do you have any favorite I think you'll enjoy it. Pittsburgh sayings? Or do you know that there was something that stuck with you as a Pittsburgher? Oh, my gosh. I just know, especially for any of us that have lived away for a bit. When I was away, my old boss used to always say, you can take the girl out of Pittsburgh, but you, you can't cannot take, yes. take the Pittsburgh yeah. out of the girl. It's and so I feel true. like that rings true for everybody. Yeah. And it draws you back. I, yeah. yeah, I left for a little bit, and I knew that Pittsburgh was my home, and I had to come yeah. back. Yep. Yeah. Well, the enthusiasm that everyone had for this was really authentic and genuine. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. All yep. right. It was fun. Thank you so much, Dick. And growing up, Yinzer is available at multiple places across the area, including Barnes & Noble, Riverstone Books, and the Heinz History Center, as well as Amazon. We'll have more information on our website, kdka.com slash talkpittsburgh. We'll be right back.